Okay, view as well. It's been raining and thunder and stormy today, so I'm going to take this time indoors to replace those two STK convergence chips. Now, I've already been through and checked all those resistors, and they all seem pretty well within tolerance. They're all still good, so the capacitors I've changed in the previous video, and I've already checked all those resistors, as I was saying, they're all fine. Got two of them to change right there, and there's our replacements. You need some heat sink compound and some um, desoldering grade. I got the good stuff. Just um, yeah, do we can I buy big Smith stuff, but this stuff is crap, doesn't work. So I got this stuff from J Car. Also the heat sink compound from J Car. So yeah. Now, the major challenge is getting all these cords off and remembering where they all go when I put it back together. So yeah, I'll take these little screws out here and get it all out and we'll start get going. So before I do that, I'll get the soldering iron warm. Okay, the oars, I've got the board out. What I've done, every little cord that plugs in, get a texture and code them in order that, they, that they're in. So when you put it back together, they go back the order they came from. So they, um, yeah, plug them in the wrong order. So I marked each cord with a certain code. So I'm with the next one with the line. And each three of these little cords here are marked dot, 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 that type of code. And T, which is tube, I've marked on this board here that connects to that. So I know which is which. So now that we'll get unsolder these chips, which, yeah, unbolt from there, lift this up, unbolt this board, under all the little bolts around there, and various heat sinks and screws. So now I can start to desolder those heat, uh, those, um, uh, ICs. So yeah. Get a good wick out. So we can, yeah. Okay, the oars, I've got the convergence ICs off. These are the um, Japanese Sanyos. You can tell the difference between these ones and them ones. These are the Chinese made Sanyos, so. All right, on there, I've got the board off. I'm going to just check everything else, like capacitors, and check for dry joints solidly while this is off, so. So now I've got to get these set up on a table. Give me any, any summer where it's not going to build up static. So yeah, I'll get these all changed. I need this, I need this. There you go. See the difference already. Very heavy these ones. These ones seem yeah, about the same. A little more plasticky, but yeah. I'll take these off and yeah, we'll go through the process of putting heat shrink, uh, heat sink shrink compound on. Okay, the oil as well. That's the old one. So yeah. Under the screws and you get the little screwed up and very carefully pick under the corner and just lift and it just snaps off. That stuff's pretty old, I'll have to re redo that. So I give it a polish and I'll put the new stuff on. That's all it is. Very nearly what Eight years old, yeah, it's done some work. Put new ones in, hopefully, the conversion should be nice and straight. So, yeah, okay, if yours, a little tip get your methylated spirits on a, a little tissue here. And what you want to do, you want to just polish it, and this stuff actually gets all of the um, residue off. So, I put the camera down, and I'll just quickly show you here. Wanna just scrub really good. And all the rigidity would come off quite nicely. So yeah, you get the idea how that works. So yeah, once I've done that, put a little heat shrink around the, around the back. Then you put a new one on and just center it around a bit to spread it. Then you screw it down and it should ooze out, ooze out a little bit evenly all around, all around it. And that's how you know you've got enough of the heat sink um, paste. Okay, the oils are grounded here. They're foot in the concrete that's still a little bit moist. So yeah, no static, so that's it. Hope I've got enough on there, if I could press it down. Yeah, it's plenty on there, I've got plenty of compound. Okay, it's oozing out all around, so that's good. We've got enough. Now I'll bolt it down. So yeah. Oh, 
pop this in here down and I'm going to place that one here then they're ready to be installed. Okay viewers, I've got the door installed now all we're going to do is just put a dabber solder on each pin and they're done. And do the other one then it's time to check and then I'll check over all the other components check more bad solder joints in here fix up those dodgy solder joints I did from previous video get them solder joints all done up good probably change a couple of other bad crappy capacitors on here when it's off and yeah hopefully it should go good so yeah okay viewers well this is all they're all installed everything's put back together kind of put the backpack on we'll give it a test so yeah only took me an hour and a half but then I had to fiddle around getting all the cords back and yeah so it's pretty fun so yeah it is all fixed hopefully everything's put back exactly the way I took it apart so I don't see any reason why it's not going to be the same so yeah I placed one crappy cap good thing you have a um, box of replacements brand new ones if I don't have any and some second hand ones that I don't have of them ones which is not really worth putting new capacitors in this TV anyway second hand ones are all well within tolerance so I only use those for vintage stuff I've got something I'm going to restore with them too one day so it could be good anyway it's good to have them so yeah put the screws back on and we'll give it a test ok the oil as well, moment of truth Let's see how the convergence is now that we've replaced the STKs hopefully they're all good I'm going to have to um reprogram them now so yeah we'll put a the right signal on oops there you go that's a lot better there you go let's go to help and look at that no more mess around with the um, bottom of the help menu anymore let's put uh, the set the boxes in components so which the antenna has been taken away so after that looks a lot better though. I'm going to change the channel now. Let's see what channels we've got. Yeah, a tiny bit after. There's still a tiny bit out, but I can always reprogram the um, convergence um, chips, which isn't hard to do. Yeah, we've got bad antenna. But yeah, so if I go to menu, advanced, that's a HD um, resolution there. The picture's looking beautiful now, so it's a little tiny bit out, but that's because um, I only use a smart focus feature, which program that, um, yeah, program them, but now I've got to touch it up on this input here with a convergence. Okay, viewers, well, I think they're a successful repair. Okay, viewers, well, she's all fixed, so. Okay, viewers, well, I'm gonna try my homemade DTV antennas. I got the both combined. And yeah, they're sitting on that Mitsubishi TV there. Oh, cool. Zero is red. Cool. Need that one. I didn't know um, the green could turn red for some reason, but anyway. There you go. It remembers its program. There's no bending and fuzziness at the bottom of the screen. There's, everything's even. So that's good. Yeah, there we go. Out of the menu. Gotta get out of the menu before I can go to um, AV. Okay, we go AV. One. Have it too. Yeah. This shed's not good for reception either, so I'm inside a steel, steel shed. You can't get much in here. But look at that. The picture's beautiful. Uh, oh, I'm gonna try and adjust the antenna for a second, folks. Oh, let's try. 
conditions apply. Come in today and organize yeah. this year's family Christmas surprise at AV Smart Homes. Pitch is beautiful now. Yeah, if I touch it up, the adjustment stuff to be touched up slightly, but... Notes, That's right. I'm here for the taste testing. Save. You get to press save each time you um, adjust it. Sweetness of natural honey, the goodness of Uncle Joe's oats. I'm impressed. Go on. And the opportunity to personally taste every box before it leaves here. That one is good, so I can hit save. I think I'm your man. New Uncle Toby's Honey and Oats Cheerios. Try it today. Oh, there you go. Hit save every time so we get a good um we don't lose any um configuration. Blue is a bit hard to um see because it's all I might have to adjust the blue um lens because it might be a bit out of focus. Liam Forrester. Just blows off your tongue, don't you think? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What exactly did Thorne say? Uh, well, well, it's a green area. Green's there, so I've got to get it right on the, as good as possible. Because I can't see it. Uh, for what? Blood test. That's pretty good. Oh, man. I can just Where's see red there, so I've got to go back a bit. Daddy's waiting. Oh, you're coming too. Green. I am not. Yes, you are. We're all going. There we go, Bill. That's point. spot on. The foresters are weasels. He's a weasel. It all makes perfect sense. In fact, here you go. There you go, folks. High made antennas combined. Even in a steel shed like this, which normally wouldn't work at all, those antennas are working very, very well. HD box, all hooked up in the in the HD part of the TV. I got this TV pretty good now, so yeah, it's all fixed and you have to adjust it a couple of times to get the settings to save. But yeah, once they're done, you fix it. She's fixed. Okay, that's way another budget. That's all I needed to fix it. Only cost me 20 bucks total to fix it. The chips I got from um, Zemtronics and the uh, yeah, the rest of the stuff I got from Jayco. So yeah, thanks for watching.